Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to Forza Motorsport 4. Today is episode number 50. If you guys are enjoying the content, then be sure to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and feel free to hit that join button as it really does help support the channel. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. This episode was streamed live on YouTube. If you want to make sure to catch the streams, then be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Enaba in the description down below. All right, so we are here for the Super Light Open. We're going to be taking the Lotus 211. Starting off with Silverstone, then Road Atlanta, Maple Valley, Bernie's Alps, and then finishing off with Sunset Peninsula. Let's get going. That is a ripperoni. Oh, look at the lotus. Are they all lotuses? I think they're all lotuses. Oh, there's a voxel in there. There's a voxel in the mix. Come on, little lotus. You can do this. Fuck! It's basically just British super lights. But Britain is the only country that really does super lights. Like, Ferrari doesn't do them. And to be fair, the super light is dead. Like, when was the last time you saw a super light? Never. Super lights themselves, as a brand, as a car. As a genre, they're dead. They don't exist anymore. Which sucks, because I think the super lights are awesome. A Supra. Is that a Supra? I'm looking forward to getting uh, some Supras on the actual uh, stream avatars page. That's going to be quite cool. Somebody cares. And my heart feels no more pain. I know I'll be on my way to heaven's door. They would be a lovely daily driver. Having a car that's this light. It's literally like a go-kart. Dragging me away from heaven. Hundred percent. I I don't understand why super lights don't exist anymore. Like you, you with the super light car, you can have a two hundred horsepower engine, and it would feel exactly the same as if you had a normal, even a Ford Focus now, or the new Puma with like a three hundred and fifty horsepower engine. They'd feel the same. Because that weight saving gets offset by having a less powerful engine. You save on fuel economy, you save on engine costs, and realistically speaking, it adds up to being a better all-round car. You save, car makers won't. No, they won't. Well, no, here's the issue, right? If a car only features ABS, power steering and whatnot, 
there's only three features that you can make profit on, right? And this is very much, there's a game, right? I, I used to play it quite a lot. I haven't played it in ages. It's called Motor Car World. It's a mobile game and you basically build cars. You build cars, you breed them. That's a really weird way of wording it. But uh, you basically make these concoctions of cars. You make these weird ones, you make electric versions, you make petrol ones, turbo versions, everything. But the issue is, like, all the cars, they they have quite low prices. But as soon as you put ABS in, you add ABS to the car, your profit goes up. You can make money off of adding those features. And it's exactly the same with real cars. You add ABS, it's going to cost them. So you are into cars. Yes, obviously I'm into cars. I'm very much into them. Duh. <laughs> Um, yeah, so, they can turn around, they can be like, right, well, we're going to put in ABS, it's going to cost us 150 quid for the parts, right, we'll charge it as a 250 pound extra, right, if they make that mandatory on the car, they can then add that to the, the price that everyone has. And they put that and integrate that into their main price. Forcing you to have this extra. And forcing you to pay for that extra profit margin. Now there are certain things that cars should have as standard. But parking sensors. That does not need to be on a car by standard. And that is almost a grand. It probably only costs them like a hundred quid to add parking sensors at the most. But they'll make a grand profit. And even if they force you to have that, they'll still put an extra grand on their price. And they'll be like, right, we're going to price that individual part as a grand. And we're going to force people to buy it and put it on every car. And they'll keep adding it. Oh yeah, I, whenever I was driving, like, the thing is, <laughs> snap it. Uh, I won't disagree. There's been, there's been times where I've been hit, like, or seen people hit other people because they don't have parking sensors. There are some guys that I know that are terrible at parking as well, so I can't really say it's just women, but... Parking sensor for me, I didn't really use them that much. Like, and you don't really need them if you know how big your car is and you know how to drive it. Plus, realistically speaking, I ain't gonna park backwards. I'll reverse out of a parking space. It's a million times easier. Like, for me, I find reversing out of a parking space is a million times easier than reversing into it. Unless it's like a on a busy road, in which case I will reverse into the parking space. But I personally, I just find it easier to reverse out of a parking space and just drive straight into it. It's quicker as well. It just is. I will definitely say I think that's a step in the right direction. I still want them to make, um, what is it, event permanent, like add an event and it stays there forever. You download the game in three years time, that event will still be there. I would love for that to become a model for a game. I don't see why it couldn't. I think I might end up getting Forza Motorsport chat. I think I'm gonna get suckered into it. Oh, 
well. Hey, no worries, Hunt. Thank you so much for stopping by, man. Appreciate it. Hopefully we see you again tomorrow. We're going to be streaming at 2 o'clock, so about four hours earlier than today. again tomorrow and then the next day as well i need to get a lot of forza content so i'm going to be doing sports in the next two days Holy shit, that thing is quick. That's surprisingly fast. I like it. I think it'd be a good idea to do, like, Forza, start off with Forza, and then move to Motorsport 4 for, like, every Forza stream. I think that'd be a good idea. Why are you slowing down like that? That's not fair. I don't think I go down here very often, actually. These tracks. I don't normally do the full route. It's a lovely track. This looks like to be a good first lap so far.
Oh, that's one hell of a corner. This thing feels like it's on rails right now. It's coconut dry killer. This one's sick. Alright! Top of the morning to you laddies. My name is Jack Septicai. Not Jack Septicai, but I'm his long lost cousin. I'm. Jack Austin is. <laughs> oh, I, I, nah. Bad joke alert. I repeat, bad joke alert. That's what you do, baby. Hold it down, girl. Bye. 
Right beside you, so let me ask, do you like that? Do you like that? Hey, not bad. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out. <laughs>